is up welcome back to my channel or if you new here hi welcome to my channel it's jackie for today we're going to be doing the fox eye makeup look um i've been super into eyeliner recently and especially because when we go out we kind of are wearing our masks right so the only thing people are going to see are the eyes so it's nice to make them a little bit more dramatic and make them stand out more and like i said again i've been super into eyeliner recently and the fox eye is just it's a look, so if you guys want to see my take on it, then please keep on watching. I already have my base makeup done because again, the focal point for today is going to be the eyes. For the fox eye, you're going to need some eyeliner and some dark brown eyeshadows if you guys have. Um, this is what I usually use when I do my fox eye. Disclaimer, I'm not really good at doing my <laughs> eyeliner on camera, so if I'm a little bit out of focus, then I apologize for that. I'm using two eyeliners today because I like using this different one for like my inner corner and this one for like the wing on the outside. I don't have a favorite eyeliner at the moment so if you guys have any recommendations on what eyeliners you guys use then please let me know because I'm still looking for that holy grail eyeliner. So the eyeliner I'm going to be using for my wing is this NYX one. It's the Epic Ink Eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can see it. I really like this because it's a brush tip and it is super pigmented. And actually, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and use a concealer to help brighten up the under parts of my eye first. And my favorite concealer for under eyes is this Kosas one. So we're going to go ahead and apply this right where we have that darkness first. And I just like applying it right here. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to use whatever is left on my finger and putting this all over my eyelid. Okay, so that's our, the base for our eyes finish. It's nice and brightened. Now we're going to go in with the eyeliner. So what I like to do, because I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes are kind of hooded, especially like in the inner corner right there. So the way I do eyeliner is a little bit different. I don't like closing my eyes and then doing my eyeliner because it doesn't look right but let me just show you how i do it so what i like to do is start off with the wing part very messed up but i like doing my wing like that and i'm just gonna wipe away <laughs> so instead of closing my eye and doing my eyeliner i'm gonna keep my eyes open and making that triangle Just like that. And again, keeping my eyes open and trying to draw it above right here. So it's going to look a little wonky when you do close your eyes, but when you open your eyes, you're going to have that nice sharp wing. So that's that eye done, and now we're going to move on to the other eye. And there's the other eye. Um, the reason why I like using a brush tip for eyeliner is because it's just a lot more pigmented and I think it goes on a little bit more smoothly. So if you guys have any recommendations for brush tipped eyeliners, let me know. Um, because this one kind of smears, so that's why I'm not going to be using this one for my inner corner. What I am going to use is the Stila one right here. It's just the black one. And this is what I'm going to use for that inner corner. And I don't like to bring it out too far in because it kind of closes my eyes. And I still want my eyes to look pretty big and not too small. <laughs> so let's just do this eye first. And I'm just creating that little line right there. Again, I don't like it too dramatic. Just enough where it's there. And there we go. It like barely makes a difference, but you can kind of tell more, tell more in person. So I'm gonna shake this up again to get all that pigment to the to the little brush. Or this is a felt tip actually, but yeah, you're gonna wanna shake that up. 
And then we're gonna do this eye. Just like that. Can you guys tell it's a very small amount? Because I feel like if I make it too dramatic, it doesn't really suit my face as that well, I think. And not really into that super dramatic eye look. And then I'm gonna fill it in from that bottom lash. And yeah, that's about it for the eyeliner part. Can you see it looks a little bit more fox eye now. It kind of closes my eyes off a little bit, makes it a little bit more narrow. That's the eyeliner. And now we're gonna kind of emphasize it and make it a little bit more smoky by using some eyeshadows. And the eyeshadows I'm gonna be using are from this palette. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of brown tones, which I really like for this look. So to start off, we're gonna go in with just a regular eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna concentrate this eyeshadow more towards the outer corner of my eye right above where I drew in that eyeliner and then just blending it out like this just emphasizing that outer corner a little bit more and then just blending it to the inside inner part of your eyelid and so to blend things out a little bit more I'm just using a fluffy brush and just blending this out so we don't have any harsh lines and then next we're gonna go in with a warmer tone brown this one right here and I'm gonna put this right above the eyeliner and using a more fine tipped brush this is like a liner brush so I'm gonna dip my brush in there and place it right above that eyeliner and then just wing it out a little bit more this kind of adds a more smoky ish effect and then creating a little wing from the eyeshadow as well just like that and if it's a little bit unblended you could go in with your fluffy brush again and just blend everything out and so because I still want my eyes to look a little bit more bigger I'm gonna be using a light like creamy shade eyeshadow this one right here I'm gonna place this right in my inner corner and kind of like the middle of my eyelid to help brighten it up like that and I'm also going to apply it right at my lower lash line again to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger and the emphasis is still on that kind of cat eye fox eye eyeliner I've been really into doing that little baggy eye look again to make the eyes look bigger I'm going in with this bronzing shade right here just dip your brush in a tiny bit and you know how when you squint you get those little eye bags I like to kind of emphasize that a little bit and you, if you guys think you went too heavy handed on it just make sure you wipe your brush off and then just blend it all out guys and there we have it we have our little fox eye eyeliner um i don't like putting mascara on my bottom lashes again because i can't find one that will not smudge on me everything i use they all smudge so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip that step but this is how the eyes look um if you do see a little bit chunkiness in your eyeliner because it's really hard to get a precise line i know the struggle is real it's not easy um, just clean it up with like your finger or you can get a q-tip and clean up those bumpy lines. I'm gonna pair this eyeliner up with a brown lip because I think this eye look and brown lips go super well together. Even though we're not showing our lips outdoors, you can still wear, you can have nice lips inside the house. Um, so what I'm gonna be using is this e.l.f. Retro Paradise 
um, lip liner and this is like a nice deep brown shade and I'm just gonna line my lips with this I don't know about you guys but the corners or like the tip of my lips are always super dry even when I wear so much lip balm Okay, so that's the lip liner and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a lip balm real quick. So I actually got a new lip balm. This is the e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm in the shade Tough Cookie. And I think this would look really nice with the brown lip because it is more of like a deep neutral shade. So let's see how this is gonna turn out. So I'm gonna put this over top of my lip liner. It smells really good, it smells like a bakery. <laughs> because I'm super bad at lips, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it corners up a little bit. This is the completed look. Um, I'm really into that fox eye look. I think it looks really flattering especially on Asian eyes because our eyes tend to look a little bit more slanted already and this just emphasizes it emphasizes it a little bit more. I hope you guys liked my little fox eye, foxy eye makeup look. And if you did, please give this video a big like. It's super appreciated and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!